Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Railroads Online. Greatest game in the world. I know I promised my summer car, but I'll do that tomorrow. I got a late. I want to do that one a little bit earlier so the Europeans can watch. We've got such a late start today that that did not happen. So I'm looking at old man Micah. And we're looking at all oh, the cordwood that we burned through. Mike and I are going to run up to the mill one more time and see if we have more iron ore we can bring down. Aren't we, Mr. Micah? Sure. So if you wouldn't mind hopping on the train. Let's. Uh, are you doing, uh, are you on uh, Twitch? Yes. Oh, see. I'm turning the brakes off. Train is fueled, should be ready to go. Moni got her notification. That means the note went out. There we go. And I am reattaching all of these links so that these cars are attached for sure. I see you here. You're just like staring off into the distance. Is that okay? Right. Well, I'm still loading. I just finally get to see. Trains. Wow. Cordwood. Oh, What's there. up, Slugger? Yeah, we used up a lot of the, the cordwood. Look at all that. I mean, like, probably two-thirds of what we put, brought down is gone. Wow. Mm-hmm. Let's see. Wow. Our wow. Did you read the notes for the uh, the update? No. What's up? Okay, because they changed a lot. The economy, all of it. All that stuff. Oh, great. <laughs> and I... Did you say read? <laughs> what? <laughs> she said, do you expect me to actually read anything? Well, hopefully one day. Yeah, maybe. They did change it. See, that was one thing they changed the Heisler. Oh, the Heisler horn is different. I don't mind it, actually. Yeah. It's a little bit more it's what I've heard Heisler nice. sound like, so. Oh, uh, that sucks, Slugger. Slugger's not feeling good. He's got the stomach bug. Ugh. That stinks, my friend. Literally. <laughs> oh, good. Great. Everyone's getting sick now. Yeah, right. That stinks, Slugger. I'm sorry to hear that. So day's been good. Uh, we just kind of goofed around today. Went to Walmart, got some groceries before the snowstorm hit. Um, other than that, I didn't really get much done. Uh, just kind of hung out with wa Wifey Poo and enjoyed the afternoon. And uh, Tomorrow we're going to kind of hit recording harder because the weather's going to be bad. So I'm going to do my summer car tomorrow mid-afternoon. Mid May even do another evening stream after that. We'll see. Hey, what's up, Phantom? Oh, wow. That was a Whoa. really sharp curve. Oh, boy. Yeah. Okay, this train has got Whoa. a lot more power than it used to. I don't... I'm only at, like, 22% on the throttle. They changed all, they changed all the physics on the cars yeah. and everything. Thank you for the now, sub, Now, did you Phantom. go realistic? I went to the... I think so. How do I tell? Options. But you asked me. The hardest level is realistic. I, that's what I think we did. Okay. I, I did normal on the economy and realistic on the... Um, physics. On the physics. Right. So what, that, what the, that really means is when we add weight to the cars, the real weight of what we put in the cars is calculated under the cars. Okay. That <laughs> is true. Hey, what's up? Leland Edward, how's it going? Reloir, how's it going? Oh, wow, that's cool. Fa well, it's gl glad to have you here, Phantom. What's up, the Meister? Did you, I slow uh, down? Let me know if you think we're going too fast. Did you happen to turn the the, uh, the generator on for the brakes? Yes, it is on, I think. Okay. No, it's off. Thank you for telling me. Not that we're going to need it here, but... Right, but oh, so. something happened. <clears throat> Slowing that down. This is probably closed down fast. Like 100%. Okay, now we got lights too. I'm going to have to watch from the outside because I'm getting too. It's too hard to tell how fast we're going. Now, to go. well, there you go. How did your live stream go, my friend? By the way, the Meister, good evening. Ooh, look at all the stuff that's on top of this engine now. That's cool. There's like boxes and stuff. 
I'm hoping there will not be a train crash tonight, but there almost already was. <laughs> so we're going to do one more load of coal, and then we're going to take some of this product up and sell it. Uh, and then we're going to bring some more cordwood down because we've used up all the cordwood already. Do you, want, do you want me to jump off and go get rid of that tower, water tower? Yeah, if you want to. That's fine. We're just cruising up the hill. Oh, I broke a toe. That's it. That's a pretty good jump. Louis said, if you can see the trees, you're going too slow. <laughs> Maybe. So this is the new whistle. Oh, wow, that's nice. I can hear it from here. Yeah, I like that better. <laughs> blame, blame Gwen when we go off the rails right. And by the way, if you have this game and you want to join, you're absolutely welcome. We have uh, several other trains that need running. Um, so we've got a, a, the sawmill needs lumber, the mine needs uh, wood products, and the uh, our main uh, refinery needs uh, uh, cordwood, so there's plenty to do. What's the matter, home monkey? So timid. What's up, Laura? How you doing? Good to see ya. So right now I'm working my way up the mountain with the Heisler. Your, what's your uh, time zone, Leland? Like, are you guys, uh, are you in Europe? Yeah, we still also need to finish that farm that I started for the cattle farm. I've never released that thing. We need to get that going. At some point, too, I want to do some live streams. I've got Lego kits that I want to Oh my gosh, that's 141 already. Whoa. So you're, if you're GMT, that, yeah, that's British time, right? Yep. So you're way ahead of us. Stream after work, or. Man, this train is really going. Nope, I don't want to do that. Drop it down a little bit. Hey, what's up, trusty vibes? Oh, you're supposed to have school tomorrow. <laughs> well, you're going to be tired. You need to go to bed. I know sometimes that's difficult. <laughs> you said ye. <laughs> <laughs> wee, wee, wee. Yeah, we're moving along at a good clip here. Now we do need a little more power here. Just gonna climb up the second section here. Uh oh. Power. Up till two or three. Well, some people just don't sleep. Hey, what's up, Red Alpha? Some people just don't sleep. That's right. That is how it is, though. Some people sleep. You know, I was talking to my friend Jared. He sleeps like four hours, five hours a night. I'm like, dude, how do you even handle that? Like, I don't. I need eight hours. I'm not lazy. Thanks. Eight hours is a normal night of sleep. Thank you. That's because you are like, I'm dying to nap. Hi, Cacips. How's it going? 
I like the puppy face. We have many puppies around here. And not so many chickens. Right, slow down. Jeez. It's all or nothing, man. Whoa. That's crazy, Red Alpha. That's a bad schedule. Now you'll notice that the snowstorm has passed here in the Sierras. We are back into the be spring. Other season. We reset the mat to spring. I like that though. I hope they do it every year. Hey, the Mazda. Oh God, too much speed. Slow down. Oh, no, that's too little speed. Yeah, too little regulation. This engine is really stinking fast. Uh, yeah, that's true, Red Alpha. You got a new computer part. Yeah, I get that. So you get three hours of sleep. Oh man, Leland. No, I'm better now, COVID. I've got something in my chest that lasts forever, but I think it's an allergy problem. there's anything I can do about it because I went away for a week and I was fine in the hotel didn't have any problems with my chest at all and I got back home and it started up again so something here I'm allergic to probably my wife I'm she's paying attention but she's not maybe it's the dogs I don't think it's the dogs I've never been allergic to dogs before but it's probably the Ouch! you can develop allergies the as you get older the chickens no it's probably the chickens <laughs> she pinched me. It was a joke. Mm. Oh, do say if she paid attention to me or not. How? Pull my hair. Go away. <laughs> I'm glad I'm better too. Thank you, Trusty Vibes. Definitely glad. All right, so there's that. <laughs> Smack your bum. Well, you blocked. Yeah, it's your fault. Yeah, I don't think so. I always have this. This <laughs> is something that's not new. Thank God. I mean, not really, but I've always had this problem with my lungs. <laughs> that's crazy, Patchwork. Oh no, there's not much there's not much ore up here. Enough for maybe one and a half cars worth. Oh, well, we oh, might as well terrible. take it. We might as well take it down. We, I'll bring it down and we'll get the mill producing the rest of it. But that kind of sucks. Yeah. So once again, if you have this game, you want to join us, we are open to that possibility because uh, we do need more people running stuff back and forth to the mill and the iron and the mine, obviously. Our mind is being undermined. Mm -hmm. We're undermined. Yeah. Super potato. Well, at least it's super potato. Yeah. Well, yeah, if you're in the hospital, you're taking as many weeks as you need. <laughs> Whether the UK or in the US, if you're sick, you're sick. <sighs> ding, ding, ding. Thank you for the follow, Bright. <laughs> Don't swear. Spank your butt. Me, 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 me. You deserved it. Wait a minute. It's okay if you do it, but. Yes, you did. I spanked you. Yeah, which is worse? A smack on the bum? <laughs> I didn't say I was allergic to you. I was... Oh, yeah, well, that, yeah. <laughs> well, when you get it, we'll still be playing it, so don't worry. Hmm. 
I don't know. I think it's, for us, it sounds like it's going to be more of a snowstorm than an ice storm. But it happens. It'll be just like every other snowstorm. It'll snow for a day or two, and the roads will get all messed up, and then it'll warm Aren't up. Aren't you supposed to get the Tahoe soon? Not in time for this one. Oh. <laughs> Secret ingredient is crime. I'm kind of excited about it, actually. I like holing up at home. Getting all cozy. Getting the RCs out. Getting the RC truck out, yeah. Getting stuck in the snow. You gotta get your plane with the ski skis on them. Right. And we are out of ore. Yeah, I do have... I actually have one airplane that does have skis, but then the dogs ate them, so... That kinda did that. What? Are you kidding me? No. They got into the bag and chewed them all up. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, it was not I'd be so that. mad. Mm-hmm. Not that I would ever use it. I don't like flying when it's cold because the batteries do not do well. So sometimes if it's real cold, the battery will last like a minute or two, and that's not any fun. So. I know, right? I love this engine, Gopher. The only problem is it's a little top heavy, so you got to be careful on some of the sharper curves. It wants to tip over, so you got to watch. So. Oh, God, yeah, we went to Walmart today to grab a couple groceries. There was no meat, though there was chicken, wasn't there? They were completely sold out of pasta. There was no pasta. Um, it's just ridiculous, the things that people panic about. It's like, dude, just get it. No milk. The milk was completely sold out. So we went to the, the drive through which is like a dollar more expensive, and they had milk. I'm like, take two gallons. No problem. I'll just work around everybody being stupid. <laughs> it's ridiculous. And don't forget, everybody took the crackers, too. There's no crackers. Yeah, no crackers. Everything was sold out. It was ridiculous. What is this now? Is this window open? Oh, yeah. Why would you do this? I don't know. Unless you're really hot. You have the roof. And these probably... Honestly, a lot of engineers did ride. Like, I was watching videos with Mark the other night. Oh, shoot. And they rode with their heads way out the window. Like, they, they just hung way out there um, to see what's ahead. We were watching the video from the Connecticut or Hartford, New Haven, in New York or whatever. New York, New Haven, Hartford. See that? Already up to speed. The only thing I don't like is the camera seems to have gotten more jerky. Uh, unless you're in this view. Yeah, gas station milk when you're really desperate, right? Oh, 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 see that? See that? That was too fast. Did you see the engine start to tip there? Yeah, I gotta watch. Slowing down. So this engine tends to be a little bit top heavy, and you gotta watch that on these these corners. I'm the same so. way. Let's see, we have no drivers. Yeah. True that, trusty vibes. Your mom's going to hit you if it snows. <laughs> the power goes out. Oh, if the power goes out, she's going to hit you. Yeah, so I'm just using a lot of brake there. V blue. Good deal. I haven't gone in the hot tub in the snow yet. I haven't been brave enough to get my feet on the snow. Maybe you just disappear for 10 years? Yeah. Just don't slip and fall in the on the ice. Right. Because whatever's wet might stick. Wait, what? Oh! Can you imagine getting your bum stuck to the to the like pavement i was thinking of something else but that, that's bad enough too oh <laughs> i'm 
I'm like, honey, you're going to have to go get the kettle and pour some warm water on me. <laughs> Not boiling. No, get anything else. Yeah, she just said that. She's like, I'll make sure it's boiling. Thanks, hon. <laughs> Ooh, I love that new horn. Thank you. So you got plenty of water. Fire temperature is good. Plenty of wood. Brakes. Oh, Lord. Can you see the river better at all? They added a lot of detail to this engine. What's up, Jurassic Park? Howdy, howdy, howdy. I know, they did. Oh, that's what they did. They all rushed to the store in a panic. Um, The river where? To my lo I'm still not down that far. Like, Are you talking about the waterfalls? Oh, just no, to, to the left, to your left. To the left. I'm starting to. Why are you cutting trees down all on the river? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> trying to, because there's trees growing in the river. I'm just trying to get rid of them. Oh, hey, Mr. Enigma. Oh. I just saw that. Doing well, my friend. Getting ready for the snow. Yeah, if my mom was going to smack me, I'd want the power to stay on, too. Uh, so, yeah, looking forward to doing some recording tomorrow when we're stuck at home. I, I do actually have a shoot tomorrow. Uh, for a home before the storm hits. So it's not going to hit here until like mid-afternoon. So I have a 1 o'clock shoot in Cleveland. I'm going to come home hoping to get my car washed before the storm hits. Well, because it's going to be in the garage during the storm. And then uh, supposedly my truck will be done this weekend. The guy got it mostly done at the shop. So I know it will be like a miracle when that truck finally arrives. And too late, because winter, this is probably the last big winter storm, huh? I mean, maybe there'll be one more, but I don't foresee there'll be a ton of more storms after this. Uh, yes, the whistle does change with steam pressure. If you run out of steam pressure on the engine, um, it will uh, it will just, you know, go like... So you don't get the full... It'll just go like this. It'll be like... When you get full pressure, it goes. Be quiet. Okay, now we're really cooking. Brakes. It's, um, it's on t the OBS side. Certain games, uh, this game, The Hunter, Call of the Wild, um, and there's a driver issue with OBS and certain games. And what happens is they, they, they kind of get a little bit frame ready at times. Um, but it's, there's zero drop frames on the stream. It is, it is on, um, OBS side. Cause what I'm seeing on my screen, there's no frame loss, but OBS is, it gets a little stuttery here and there. That's so funny, Patchwork. Like, I want to go out in the snow. There you go. Maybe the contacts have gotten dirty, Cameo. That does happen. Though right now I'm not seeing any frame drops, so maybe it might be, it might be on your side. Anyone else having frame issues? My wife's watching. She's saying she's not seeing any. It's running good on my end. Okay. Yeah, we will get one big spring wind. We usually get one in April. Um, I don't think the pressure drops with the whistle, no. Let's see. Nope. Oh, I wasn't paying attention. I've come to almost a complete stop. <laughs> All right, there you go. Having oily skin doesn't help. Right. Uh, you and me both, my friend. I live my, uh, I, leave, I leave, usually I only have like one or two lenses that I use with my cameras for video. So I've got one camera with my, uh, the, the lens that I use for my real estate, I just leave it on. And then my other camera that I use for video, I just leave the lens on that too. I rarely ever change lenses. I use a 24-70 for regular video use, and then I use a 16-35 for uh, homes. 
Where'd you go, Mr. Micah? I'm still in the river cutting trees. Now. Ah. <laughs> yeah, I I don't want a handbrake slide. This engine just tips right over. That's a recipe for disaster. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna unload these cars and then park them back in the siding there behind us. And then we're gonna grab those other cars and fill up an iron ore, sell what we got, and then bring some more cordwood down. Two point eight, there you go. Yeah, I use the I have the seventy to two hundred. I don't use it very often, but I do use it. Shut up, dog. Mm, we're getting paid still about ten bucks a thing. Ten bucks a ball. I'll tell you what, this Heisler looks a lot better. They have upgraded the model quite a bit. Um, I don't think this was wood before. Definitely that stuff on the top is new. There's now a valve over here that I'm seeing. Right there, the release valve for that, that generator. That's our generator for the lights. Um, the up there, the UP, the Uber Peninsula. Break off and back. The Uber. Shut up, dog. You're fine. It's not your fault. You don't have to, you don't have to make excuses to me. Do 100%. You, you per talk. <laughs> I was watching uh, a, Canadian, a show about the Canadian Pacific was on YouTube. And they had, a, um, they follow some like engineers and track crew and stuff while they're working the, working the rails, working the high iron. And um, these guys, uh, they take, there's a train called the upper, wait a minute, let me think about this. Is it, it's, it's the on railroad. So it's Ontario Northern, I think is what they call it. Or Ontario North or something like that. And it goes all the way up, like to where the tundra starts from Ontario. It's pretty much directly above me. Um, so like another 200 miles north or more. And they have a, a train that goes up there and they, they work with the indigenous people. They call them the, what do they call them? The, the first ones, I think they call them, or something like that. Do you remember what they called them, honey? Anyone from Canada, what do you call your, in, what we call our Indians? First Ingrate? Nation, maybe? First Nation, I think is what they call oh. them. Uh, um, and so, they had this, these two guys, obviously, you know, Eskimo heritage or whatever first first nation heritage and, and it's a guy and his son well they, they are though and and uh, he says they're gonna go they go uh, goose hunting and so they they stand by the side of the train and the train stops and then they load their stuff into the cars and then they took them up to goose hunt and these guys can make the goose noise with their mouths and they sound just like geese it was crazy i was like what and they're like Hong, hong, hong. and all the geese come to them but they don't use their hands or anything like that they just do it with their mouths and it was really crazy i was like that is so cool and then the geese just come and they they, they catch them thank you mr micah no problem do you need a kiss no 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 <laughs> my wife needed Oh, the oh. ONN. Okay. Ontario Northern. Uh, 
network, yeah. And that's really cool. Um, those trains are really cool. Thank you, honey. But it's kind of neat how they they just kind of, they, they're used to just stopping a, a, along the railroad, you know, to pick people up. The uh, name of this game is called Railroads Online with an exclamation mark. Oh, do they? They call now, them you, Aboriginals. Interesting. Now, if you point your mouse, if you walk up to one of the, the cars as you're loading, you'll see how much it weighs in pounds and kilograms. Oh, yeah. That's cool. So they cool. added that. That's really neat. Yep, so now we get to see what the load is. Yeah, we're going to see if we can bring this full train up the hill. That'll be interesting to see if we can make it. Now, I would say do the rest that other type. So we'll back up and fill up the front cars and work our way back. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's a fun game. Hey, no problem. So I would say that this in this game, well, once again, keep in mind, back, <laughs> Brandon AR-15, welcome. Uh, back in the day when these trains were running, late 1800s, early 1900s, when you had logging mountain trains and, like, Wild West trains and stuff like that, they mostly only had, like, six or seven cars. They did not, they did not get really long. All right, Michael, you want me to back or forward? Uh, give me just a second to make sure all the cars are unlocked. So that said, the in this game... This locomotive has the most tractive effort of all the locomotives. Give me just a second. Now, on flatland, it is not the fastest, but it is the most capable of hauling weight. Oh, there we go. ONR. That was it. That was it. But I think they just stay on the... On the hey, have a good night, Leland. Get some sleep, my friend, and have a good day at school tomorrow. Um, I think on the engines it just says O oh, on though like on like O-N back up about six feet okay tell me when that's pretty good so uh, anyway uh, this train is the one that hauls the most correct yeah and then you know but once again that was more on the flat lands, too. You wouldn't use a big boy. Though I will say this. If you look at, I think it's the Y3 engine from Norfolk and Southern, or Norfolk and Western. It's Norfolk and Western, is that's how we say it. Okay, great. My wife, my wife says Norfolk, which is right, but we say Norfolk and Western. Shut up. They used the YN3 engines, which were articulated engines. Um in the mountains of West Virginia. So they did use them in the mountains there, but I think mostly in these like really kind of heavy logging camp areas. The uh, cars with the small beams on them are 20,000 pounds. Okay. And the cars with a three beam, the three stack is 10,000. 10,000. Just, just so you know. Oh, stop. Oh, sorry. Okay. <laughs> okay. You said, ooh, stop, hang on. I don't, what is the grade of Sherman Hill? I don't know. That's a good question. I'll look it up while Mr. Mike is loading. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Sherman Hill, mm -hmm. average grade. I typed in average with a B. And it didn't change it. Uh, so it goes from the UP between North Platte and Cheyenne. It averages just under a percent, so about 0.7 to 0.8. That is Sherman, Sherman Hill. So we have up to 3% on this railway, so much deeper. Um, All right, clear to go two cars forward. So, okay, two cars forward. Mm. Wow, you take off fast. That's, one, that's half car, one car. Car and a half. Right there's good. So 
that's the max grade? Okay, all right. So, yeah, they're saying the average is about 0.7. So that's pretty pretty steep. And the big boys could pull, like, a five-mile train up that hill. <laughs> So, um, but really, once again, these were the, the, the Heislers and stuff. They were meant for logging. Uh, narrow gauge, which is what we're dealing with here. This is a narrow gauge railroad game. So it's not uh, the same as a mainline trackage. It is, it is um, mountain grades. Mountain. All right, buddy, you clear. Are we full? Yep. All aboard. Where I'm you gonna going to run to the uh, okay. other switch and make sure it's correct. Right, that was where they had their last stand. The big boys, they went all over the place, but then primarily, they were pulling, like in in the mid, in the Midwest. And when I say Midwest, I don't mean Midwest. I mean, like the middle of the out west. <laughs> so like Wyoming, Montana, stuff like that. I saw that they're getting their first steam train, uh, T Train Sim World Two. I'm looking forward to that. I probably won't get a free copy because they're not giving me anything anymore. I don't know why they stopped, but they stopped giving me stuff, um, which does make me a little sad, but I still buy it. I bought the Sherman Hill. I didn't really like it that much. It's okay. It's kind of boring. Um, my favorite one so far is the Arosa Line, or Lini, or however you pronounce it. It's the the, uh, the Swiss route that goes through the mountains. I'm, I've been having a blast with that route. Did he, I, uh, did he need more trees? No, I went ahead a little bit. Okay. Oh boy. I'm at full tilt right now. That thing does tip easy. Yeah, I'm slowing down on the corner here. I hate to do it, but the high speed route. I don't like the high speed routes. I get bored. I do like the vintage British routes, um, like uh, the Manchester to Leeds. T I like Tees Valley because I've been there. Actually, I've been on the Manchester to Leeds too in real life. Um, Somerset Railway. Like I like all those. I don't like the German ones. It's funny. So it's fun to go try to make the station. Slow down a little bit here. Let's go to the and here we go. I'm going to give it all full effort here. This is the steepest part of the grade. If we can get up this one, we can get up anything. I got to need to tie my shoe. Mr. <laughs> Mike! Oh, look out! Oh, no! Oh, oh. Worked in. Well, this biscuits are on fire. <laughs> well, biscuits are burning. This is the only part that I was afraid of, and yeah, we've made it. And we're unrealistic, right? Yeah, uh -huh. you, you did this awesome. <laughs> it's not that hard, you just gotta throw wood in and wait. are pretty easy to get started. Now my suggestion is after we sell these, Mr. Micah, we add those cordwood cards to the back cars to the back of this train. 
Oui. And, then, and then we do a massive run. We get lumber, we go up to the mine, and then we take cordwood down to the, into the valley. Now, I haven't checked these uh, up ahead, so you might want to make oh, sure shoot. you slow down. Yeah, we needed to go to the left. Hold on. Don't throw them now. Oh, no, I won't. I'm going to have to stop. Are you going to stop and back up, or you want me to go to the next There's one There's really no other way to do it. I mean... Oh, yeah. Yeah, you get it. I will say, one of the things I do enjoy about Train Sim World, and some people complain about it, Brad Pitt just subscribed to my channel. What? I cannot believe it. Wow. <laughs> Hi, Brad. <laughs> get a cup of espresso. Oh, it's actually bad. I didn't read it closely enough. It's bad print. Oh, okay. <laughs> Thanks for the <laughs> sub, man. I appreciate it. Um, the uh, I like the startup procedures in Train Sim World. I now know how to start an engine, and it's pretty realistic because I've watched people do it in real life, and it's it's close. Get in now! now. Don't swear. She's swearing at the dogs. Okay, go ahead and switch it. She said, "Don't flirking" is what she said. It was the flirk word. Plenty of traction. How do you feel about the train here. going forward? Does it seem to? You remember how the last time we had to rock the train to get them to go? Great. Nope. It's doing oh, good. good. But good. this engine never really did it much. What? Yes, it did. Nah, not too much. What cocaine are you snapping? The one, <laughs> the ones that have the extra wheel, like the the what do you call those? The guiding wheels or whatever. Those are the ones that seem to have the trouble. Oh, hey, we'll see you, bad. <laughs> Thank you for the sub, my friend. That's it. <laughs> Try Microsoft Flight Sim. It's probably a little easier on the system. Yep. Look at this convoluted rail system that we've created. My wife made the best stew tonight, man. She made it. Like beef tips in uh, like with vegetables and stuff in like a broth. And then she took these like buttery mashed potatoes and poured it over the man. Oh, it was heavenly. It was yeah, so they call good. it beef too. Uh, but with the potatoes are what made it, man. They were so good. You said, see, I would. Man, I'll tell you what, I haven't played Flight Sim in forever. Hey, hey, Lazy Noob, how's it going? Dude, it was so good, Rodolfo. Oh my gosh. She is a good cook. She makes really good food. Like, good comfort. She makes really good chicken Alfredo. Oh man. I think they've improved the speed on this engine a little bit too since the patch. Like we are cooking. Oh yeah, I couldn't even run out of the out of it. Like to go ahead. You're faster than I can run. So Which is the way it should be really. Yeah. Yeah, I will, Louie. I will start stream. I'm gonna try to stream more. My wife and I've been talking about it. I'm just, I, I will. I want to do some more games I don't do normally. So, oh, what's up, Gunmetal? Well, you're here now, my friend. You're here now. No talk about food. <laughs> Are you hungry? I'm sorry, Slugger. So, oh. So what do you think? Should we do the? Should we do a run? Should we just run more? Actually, we could keep running this for a little bit. We'll run back and forth. That's fine. I don't. Uh, but I kind of want to do a loop. We'll do a loop, Mr. Michael. 
street. We'll stop at the sawmill, drop these off at the mine, and then we go down to the to this to pick up the other place. To oh, I'm sorry, slugger. Oh, that sucks. we're not gonna do cordwood though. We'll skip that for now. Like you can gunmetal. You can join us as long. You just gotta get on Discord. That's the big thing, so we can hear you, or that you can hear us at least. Um, I do need somebody running cordwood, so there's there's three engines available right now. If you want to grab an engine and run cordwood for us, that would be awesome. So what do you think? Should we buy a climax too, just to have it? Heck yeah. Heck yeah. You should own every, every engine. Just own them all. Hey, what's up, Iraq? Whoops, sorry. I love the, I love the sound on this one because of the generator. Oh, okay, all right. <laughs> Oh, that sucks. Well, next time, Gunmetal. I try to do this game on Saturdays, too, often, so that people can join. Have one, 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 at least one of each truck? Yep. You got good news and bad news on the Camaro. Uh-oh. Oh. What's the bad news? Oh, no. We're clear. We're all, like, holding our breath, like, it's such a good looking car. Oh, make sure you check to see if you got money. Um, okay. So. Nope, I didn't. Oh, I joined too. Mm. It could be because you're negative. It's not a huge deal. Like, we don't really need anything right now. I'm still 3,100 negative. Hmm. I just didn't get any money. This employer, D R one, Jessica, eleven. Yasta. Just, just just Jessica eleven. Just eight. Jessica eleven. Yeah. Okay, so we're gonna go now. We're gonna go to the sawmill. So you're gonna go down the middle track. When we come up to the next one, where are you? I'm running for the switch. Running for the switch. Estonia. The yeah, that whole area is back in me. Running because I don't know what else to do. Aha, <laughs> <laughs> uh -huh, no border patrol. The good news is that he fixed the taillights. Well, am I clear to back now, Mr. Mike? We're good? Yeah. Fixed the taillights. Put in new bulbs. Got the tack to read accurately. Okay, that's good. How do you even test that? That's tricky. Heading down backwards. That sucks. I wonder what a full load is worth now. I'm sorry, man. I don't understand it. I joined the company yeah, it's and everything. weird. It's probably because you're negative money. You probably just need to stay on your own, and then once it's once you're full, we'll get a reading. So in other words, we basically just gave that whole load away. Yeah, the new whistle is so much better. The last one was like, Ooh. this one sounds like a real train engine. It's like Casper the Ghost engine. Well, it was low, like a big, big engine, like a like a 
like a big boy or something like that. Yeah, but it wasn't very loud. No, it wasn't loud either. This one's much more fitting for this style engine. I wonder what the little ones sound like. Wait, Wolf Creek Pass. Why do I know that name? Don't pull a Wolf Creek Pass on the tracks. Wait, what is that? Why do I know that name? It's a song, okay. <laughs> Metal. The bad news, you found the problem for the fuel gauge. It needs a new circuit board for the cluster. You got a broken wire somewhere from the tank to the cluster. You okay, moved we got the one problem. foot to the right, so it was working on the snow. So no grip. Little Matt, little Chuggy is on the tracks. Oh, like in the way? Yeah. Well, we could just push him forward or backwards. It's all right. Let's, uh, oh, man, they're all back there. Hmm. Yeah. Well, let's break. see. All right, I put the brake is off. Well, let me help you do something. But you can push me back a little bit. I'll put the brake at, like, one, like, 4%. That way it doesn't just roll for, roll really, really easy. Well, now, hold on a minute, Mr. Maka. We'll figure this out. Here's the thing. See, the we thing could is. probably fill all these cars up and take them with that thing. Right, but those are cordwood. That's what I was saying, though. Maybe. No, they're just like yours. No, those are cordwood cars. They're different. You Notice know. the front and back has they have they have uh, stanchions on the end and make them it makes them. That's so you can... great. Mm. No, there's nothing on the end, buddy. They're just like the one you got. What? We should have cordwood cars. What happened to all our cordwood cars? I don't know. They say freight on them. All right. Hold, let me come look. Hold on. Oh, you got a flat. Wait, so I'm trying to understand the first thing. So you need a new circuit board for the cluster. You got a broken wire somewhere from the tank. You move the one foot. You move the car one foot to the right so it wasn't working in the snow. The back tires are sitting on ice, so you have no grip. Ah, okay. All right, now I understand. Okay. Uh, hold on a second, Mr. Michael. You're right. What happened to our corkwood cars? Did they change them? What? Hold on. Let me look through the things and see what they got now. You know what? Um, I think we bought more because other people were running stuff up and down to the lumber mill. I bet the cordwood cars are down by the mill or they're over here somewhere. Mm -hmm. Well, I know there's cordwood cars. We passed some. It shouldn't be too hard to take it off and fill it at work, should it not? You're right. You're right, Mr. Micah. The cordwood cars were up in the siding. You're correct. Well, I mean, while we could... Well, we knew we do need to refill the mine anyway. Here's the issue that we're going to have if we do that. It's going to be really hard to get... This train's a lot longer than that siding. So the problem that we're going to have is we're not going to be able to fill this up all the way because the cars... Like, we won't be able to back it all the way in. This siding can hold up to eight or nine cars. This will make it, having those extra cars on there is going to make it way too long. Does that make sense? So, in other words, whoever built this didn't build it right. Well, we built it for what we had at the time. <laughs> I'm but just kidding. One, two, three, four... 
Yes, the six cars. Well, what you could do is you could just get rid of the barrier in the back and then add some more track while I'm moving Chuggy. If you want. No, just let's hook up to these cars and move them out and just go. You through. Actually, you want to move these cars out? Okay. Yeah, just get them out of the way. Okay. And uh, maybe we could steal that caboose while we're, while we're here. Do you want the caboose on our train? Uh, that's up to you, buddy. We're going to put, uh, let's see, this is going to the right, correct. That's good. Wow, did this thing just take off fast. They must have fixed that thing. Yeah, now you don't have to use full regulator anymore. Wow, good job, guys. Good <laughs> job. Good job. Hopefully they're watching. They don't. Great job. But still a good job. Heck yeah. There you go, big guns. Are you playing uh, North Atlantic? Uh, fishing North Atlantic? I uh, know. I missed that game. That's another game that would be awesome in multiplayer. Yep. How's the whistle on this engine, by the way? I didn't try it. <laughs> it's the same. About the same. <laughs> All right, so you're clear to go. You're going to pull up next to my train. Be careful, though. Uh, there is a hand cart in the siding. The rock. Whoa, excuse me. Gosh. I'm having hiccup burps. I haven't used this in a while. I'm trying to do a little bush cart, get it out of the way. Hmm. I just love the way the car, the trains are handling so well. They're a lot better, yeah. Like, even Chuggy is not, you know how Chuggy used to swing left and right on the tracks all the time? Yep. He's not doing that. The cars, the trucks are still wobbling left and right a little bit, but yeah, nothing should, like it was. Yeah. Nothing like it was. It's a project car, wow. I rock. You know that. You know, it's like that's. That's the project in Project Car, right? You got some work to do. <laughs> no whistle on this. Oh, wait, what side do you want me to go on? You want me to go toward, come I've towards you, I've got it set already. Right? Okay. Just follow, follow the setting. <laughs> I've been working on the railroad. I want the trains that were in the uh, Bugs Bunny and Yosemite Sam cartoons. <laughs> Which ones are those? The ones where they, you know, where they're chasing each other and stuff. <laughs> you know, they're just like, oh, I'm not stopping mine. And the rab is like, oh, I'm not stopping mine. Oh, <laughs> <You know? laughs> oh man. Hey, Chuggy. There you go. You're clear. Stop whenever. I can't believe those cars all held together. Maybe they fixed that, too. Wouldn't that be nice? Wow, this thing is not stopping very fast. <laughs> I'm serious. This thing didn't want to stop. 